The Hydrosynth Patch Manager allows you to move your patches between a Hydrosynth and your computer. It allows for organizing your banks and your patches. First, make sure that your Hydrosynth is connected via USB. You can do it via MIDI in and out, but USB is faster. When you open the Hydrosynth Manager, you'll see these two columns, or these two sections of the screen. These allow you to open two banks. Now these can be banks inside the Hydra, they can be banks on your computer, and it doesn't really matter which way you go. You can copy from the left to the right, or from the right to the left. It doesn't matter. It's whatever you feel like doing. It's just a lot easier to be able to see the bank you're moving to and from when you have the two of them open. So we begin by connecting the Hydrosynth. We click the Open MIDI Device button right here, and then you select your MIDI device, in this case, the Hydrosynth keyboard. And I'm going to click and select the MIDI in and output as that. And now we're ready to go. It's received the data. After you've connected, you can click on these tabs and open up, and you'll see that you have the factory packs, you have user packs, and that you have the Hydrosynth. So we're going to go on and connect up Hydrosynth Bank A. It gets the patches, and now you can see all the patch names. You can also then go out and check out the other, the other uh, banks. When you get the Hydrosynth from the factory, uh, Banks DNC will be empty. Uh, in my case, I've been making sounds, so I've got some sounds here. Now, if I've got sounds and I want to back them up, the first thing I should do is create a new bank. So we'll click on the new bank. Now it's going to bring up this dialog that's going to let you choose where it's going to save it. So it should default to the patch uh, user bank. We're going to name the bank. Uh, we'll call it demo video. And we're going to create it. Okay, so now we've just created a bank. Now we have to choose the bank. So I'm going to open that bank over here. And if I go into my user files, and there's my demo video Hydra bank. There's nothing in it because we just created a new bank. What we're going to do now is I just want to take all my patches that I have in here, and I want to copy them into this new bank. So there's a few things I can do. I can just click on a single patch, drag it, drop it, and it's in the, in the new bank. It's on the computer now. I can also select multiple things by clicking on it and then holding down the shift button and clicking the next thing. That's going to give me a range of patches and I can dump them anywhere within this whole page over here. So just to show a little different, I'll put it into the next column. So now we've got that uh, set of patches there. I can pick and choose individual ones by using the command key. So I'll click on that, I hold down Command, I'm going to pick every other patch in here. And I'm going to go on and pull them in starting here. Now it's going to add them in sequential order. And now I can go back and I can go decide, oh yeah, here I want every other one here. And I'm going to pull them in over here. So now I've just created this bank on my computer. It's here, you don't have to save it. The minute you drag them over, it's in there and it saves the bank. You can see that moving sounds between a Hydra and the bank are pretty quick and easy. It just, And then you can sit here and drag them around, move them how you want them within the Hydra bank itself. Um, if I want to get rid of those spaces, I can just select that whole list, move them over like that. So that's how you move patches around. If I want to move patches back into the Hydra, it's just as easy. I grab it, click it, drag it over. Don't turn off the thing. It's writing the flash memory. You don't want to corrupt the flash in the, in the Hydra. And it does a check on it, make sure it's good. So there it is. And it's in this back in the Hydra synth. When you're moving patches, either in a bank or in the Hydra synth, when you click on it and you drag and move it, you're going to see what's going to happen here is that it's just going to swap patches. So we've got Hydra Hat 3 here, Constantine here, pull it down, and they just swap patches. We did this so that you don't accidentally write over something like, oh, I just dragged this over, oh, I didn't mean to do that. You can always just drag it back, it'll re-swap them. The Patch Manager allows you to rename your files as well. We're going to go to, into my file that's on the computer and just double click it. Now I can rename the file. I'll just give it a quick tap. 
Sinatra renamed Hydra 3. You can do it also within the Hydra synth. So here we've got a bank D sound. We can just double click it and rename it. We'll call it the fifth wife. But you'll see what happens is that you get up this transferring message. It's actually having to rewrite the whole patch, rewrite the flash. So it takes a little bit to rename your patches in the Hydrasynth. And whenever you're doing patch management, to me, it's always best pull them into a bank. Then you can do all your work within the bank, organize, rename, do all that, and then send the whole bank back. One thing this does is it protects the patches that are inside the Hydrasynth currently and allows you to make your mistakes and do your errors over in a bank that you can just you know erase or, or redo. Uh, and then secondly, when you go to transfer them, it just transfers them all in one big thing. So again, you can move patches around all over. If you want, you can import patches. Uh, this is going to allow you to trade files. So if somebody posts a, a .hydra file either uh, on our uh, web page or on a user forum somewhere, uh, you just click Import and it's going to tell you to pick out the bank that you want to pick. You pick the bank, import it, and it's now going to show up in your user list. All those kind of things. You can't do the cut, copy, paste, deletes directly on the Hydra. Uh, you can't do that direct. You know, you can always just bring your bank over, rearrange it, delete any things you want, and then send the bank back if you want. The refresh button will get data back from your Hydra synth. So if you've disconnected or you've moved a bunch of things over or you've done something wacky, um, just click refresh. It's going to go get your patch list back from the Hydra synth again. That's all there is to it. Have fun moving patches.